five Aston Villa players who fail to live up to the hype. At five, it's Libor Kozak. The giant Czech striker arrived at Villa Park in 2013, and since then his career has been a disaster. Kozak broke his right leg in training just four months after joining Aston Villa, ruling him out for 15 months. Still with Aston Villa during their championship troubles, Kozak will yet again miss the rest of the season after having ankle surgery. Come the end of the season, Kozak will have spent four years at Villa Park and played 22 games in both league and cup, scoring four goals. It wasn't his fault, but Kozak's time at Aston Villa has been awful. At four, it's Eric de Jemba Jemba. Initially signed by Manchester United to replace Roy Keane, Jemba Jemba would join Aston Villa in 2005 as he looked to rebuild his reputation. Unfortunately though, things only got worse. The midfielder struggled to get in the team ahead of Gavin McCann and Stephen Davis and would have his contract terminated in July 2007 after a loan spell with Burnley. Since leaving Aston Villa, Jemba Jemba has played in Qatar, Denmark, Israel, Serbia, Scotland, India, Indonesia, France and now Switzerland. At three we have Mika Richards. The defender looked like a future England star when he was at Manchester City and would win the Premier League in 2012, but it's all gone slightly downhill since then. Following a loan spell at Fiorentina, Richards would join Aston Villa on a free in June 2015, where he was appointed as the on-field captain. As the story goes though, Aston Villa were relegated and Richards is now sidelined with a knee injury. At number two, it's Ross McCormack. Signed at the start of the season, McCormack was billed as the man that would score the goals that would propel Aston Villa back to the Premier League. Six months after he joined, he'd be out the door and on loan at Nottingham Forest. Steve Bruce had dropped the striker for continually missing training, and McCormack admitted that once he didn't make training because he was trapped in his home by a faulty electronic gate. It's not a bad excuse. And at number one, it's Darren Bent. Aston Villa spent £18 million on Bent in January 2011 and would cost them another £6 million more in add-ons. During his time at Villa Park, Bent would score 21 goals in 61 games, which isn't a bad return, but you'd expect a lot more from a man who cost you £24 million. He swapped Weir side for the glitz and glamour of the Midlands to help his England career, but it didn't make much of a difference with Bent picking up another six caps while he was at Aston Villa, bringing his total to just 13. Now age 33 with Derby, I doubt Bent will be putting on an England shirt again anytime soon, unless it's a charity match. So those are our top five Aston Villa players who fail to live up to the hype. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.